Welcome to another Wise Guys tutoring video, and in this one, we're continuing the BA2 Plus calculator series videos, and we're going to look at the sinking funds. Now, what is a sinking fund? Um, sinking fund is money that the company puts away so that they have money for a future use. So a sinking fund is always going to be a future value because it's money that we're going to need in the future for some type of uh, payment or uh, purchase. So a sinking fund is a future value amount. Alright, so your company has just come to the conclusion that they are going to need a new facility in 15 years. The new facility will cost your company $5 million to construct at that time. How much does your company need to put away into a sinking fund that is earning 9.4% per month if your company makes monthly payments into the fund? Round your answer to the nearest dollar. Alright, so if we go back to the top, uh, we've come to the conclusion that we need a new facility in 15 years. So we'll use the 15 years for our N. Uh, the new facility will cost $5 million to construct. So this is our future value. And then the question says, how much does uh, your company need to put away into a sinking fund that is earning 9.4% per month if your company makes monthly payments into the fund? So the 9.4%, this is our interest. Per month, this is our compounding, and then monthly payments, so this is our PY. All right, let's take a moment to set up our row of buttons. Okay. So, uh, N is going to be based on 15 years of payments and uh, we said that the payments were monthly so times 12 now let's turn the calculator on so 15 times 12 180 so then I can just go ahead and push the in and then we're told that the uh, we need 5 million so that's our future value uh, the interest is 9.4 compounded monthly, so both PY and CY are 12 each because it's 9.4% uh, uh, monthly and uh, nine, uh, and monthly payments. And we're looking for the payment, so PB is going to be 0. So 9.4 is our IY, 0 PV, 5 million, 6 zeros, 1 FV, then we'll go second function IY and set it for 12. Now mine was set for 12, but I'm just going to type it in anyway. So 12, enter, down, and then second quit. And then we will hit the compute button, so compute payment. Now the question does say round your answer to the nearest dollar. So my answer is $12,743.28. So we would round this down and make it $12,743. Now, to do the second question, I have another question on the next page. Let's type in this answer without all the extra decimals. Because it, the question does say, round your answer to the nearest dollar. And on the next page, it says, from the previous question, what is the balance in the fund after eight years? So, let's take this answer and retype it into our calculator because uh, the question, remember, the question said round the payments to the nearest dollar. So, the payments are actually going to be $12,743. Now, my answer came up negative, so I have to make sure to hit the plus minus button and then the payment button. So, then what we're doing is we're just typing in the payment as 12743 Then we have to hit the plus minus button and then the PMT. And the reason we're doing this is because remember the question has said 
round your answer to the nearest dollar. So this is how much we're actually putting into the sinking fund every month. Now, let's go into the amortization function. So second amort, and the amortization function is above the PV. So second PV. Now, what is the balance in the fund after eight years? So, since we just want the balance after eight years, what we want to do is we want to find out how many payments we would make in the eight years. So what we do is we take the eight years and we multiply it times 12 because remember we had monthly payments and our PY was 12. Uh, you can do this right in this, the amortization screen. You can go 8 times 12 equals 96. So then what we want to do is set P1, P1 to 96. Enter. Down. And then set P2 also to 96. Enter and down. And then... All we want is the balance. Now, let your calculator go for a few seconds. It, it takes a little bit of time because it's making 96 calculations. And so this is the balance in the fund after 96 payments. We should have $1,813,896.50. Alright, so this is how much we have in our account, in our sinking fund, after eight years. All right, that is the sinking funds. And this has been another presentation of the Wise Guys tutoring videos. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of Ron Hammerling in the Learning Assistance Center. Thank you, and have yourself a good day.